So this video is all about how to create a basic active campaign email template. Uh, now I do have, as you can see, a detailed SOP document walking you through the steps to create this basic active campaign email template. But to make this video easier to watch, I'm just going to share my screen and go through the steps. And then of course you can, and I recommend you do reference this SOP document if at any point you get stuck. So the first thing you need to do is log into active campaign. The second thing that you need to do is uh, click on campaigns over here on the left. X out of any pop-ups that show up. Um, click manage templates. Now at this point you have the option to either clone a template by choosing one of these and clicking copy. You can also edit an existing template or you can delete a template. Um, for our example today we're going to click add template here or you can click new template up on the top right. So this is going to be um, you name your template, make sure you've selected newsletter, click OK. Newsletter will be green. Um, click OK. Now what you're going to do is uh, hover over, as you can see when you hover over these things, you've got these like uh, little menus that show up. So what you're going to do is grab this image and you're going to pull it um, below the text. So sometimes the menu as you can see is a bit annoying but it, it does work um, eventually. <laughs> uh, so now what you're going to do is click on this image. You'll see this little menu pop up. Um, second from the left you'll see if you hover over it it says new image. Click that. Uh, choose your logo. Now if you don't have your logo already uploaded just click add new image. Choose your image. Uh, from your computer wherever it might be click open and then all you have to do is hover over it and click choose and then at this point you're going to want to edit the size so that it doesn't look ridiculous um, I can't tell you exactly how big it would be but um, but I usually think and always just think that people don't buy from a logo they buy from you so let's see how this looks maybe a little bigger so I want people to be able to clearly see it, but I also don't want it to uh, deter from, from the, the content of the email. Um, now the next thing that we're going to do is click into this text box. Click Command A to hover to highlight over everything. Font size. Change that to 18. And then click Save and Exit. And that's all there is to it. This is going to be a very basic email template. You've got your logo on the bottom, and you've got your text on the top. So uh, that's all there is to it. 